Hey guys, it's Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and today we are back at it with another unboxing video. Uh, again, another Blackmagic product here. We've got the Atom Television Studio Pro 4K. It's the 4K model. Now, just so you know, that's UHD. It's not true full-blown 4K. Uh, it's really important that when you do jump into the Blackmagic world, especially if you're not as familiar with formats and, and everything, that you are really careful to make sure that your products, your cameras, your graphics, whatever you're gonna be putting in there, that's not black magic, make sure it's gonna work. Uh, you can always call us. We'll help you walk through that a little bit here too, but just a little uh, forewarning there. Anyways, it includes the Atom software control Mac and PC. So even though we got a physical switcher here, we're gonna have a lot of controls that we wanna use um, on a GUI. So you're gonna wanna have a computer um, Mac and PC. So um, either one of those will get you um, the additional controls that you'll need for audio and it'll also have an additional control panel that you can do remotely as well. So anyway, moving on here, the marketing. Atom Television Studio Pro 4K. And more pictures on the top here and on the box. Uh, actually here on the back side, we got a little more um, uh, detail about the software um, GUIs, what they look like. So you can actually have your switcher here. You can manage all your clip media and things like that. Uh, you can actually mix your audio in here uh, and you can control all your cameras. Uh, anyway, all this is really cool. I'll just throw in my little two cents in this. And uh, it, you know, my background is broadcast, uh, broadcast television. So these type of all little all-in-one switchers are definitely something that I struggle with sometimes only because I tend to find the things that are kind of a Jack of all trades tend to be a master of none, but we're gonna withhold our judgment a little bit here. But anyway, uh, Blackmagic does like to try to do everything in one little box. <clears throat> so we'll see how good that is in our next video. Finally, before we open it up here, I'm not gonna get into all this because there's a lot of information, but if you wanna know everything about this switcher, it's probably listed on the website. It's here on the back side, and kind of goes into everything that it does, eight sources. You have multi-viewer aux outputs. I think there's eight outputs as well. Uh, you've got uh, multi-viewer program. And uh, I will say this, and I don't know if this switcher does this or not. One of my uh, favorite things, and I'll give Blackmagic kudos for this, and some of their um, uh, larger switchers, they have a uh, cool feature that I haven't seen even on the broadcast side where you can take the multi-viewer output and you can actually output 4K to your multi-viewer. I like that even if you're not shooting in 4K, you get a really nice high resolution image for your multi-viewer so that you can see your pips and your images and everything uh, uh, a lot better than you do with just a standard HD output. That's something really cool. I hope this one has it, we'll see. Okay, let's get into it. All right, now how to open this thing. Let's see here, all right. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. We're gonna flip it upside down here. And, and we're gonna knock our camera here. And all right, that's fun. Okay, oh, stuff's falling out. Okay, that was a little awkward. So uh, quick edit here, we're back at it. Now with our styrofoam out of the box, we got our little black magic packet here. Uh, so of course, all, some, all good stuff. We can start with uh, the little welcome, thank you. You can download the instruction manual and you've got, um, your film crew here uh, shooting a very high-end feature on their all Blackmagic products. Good stuff, yep. All right, your Blackmagic sticker, that's gonna go right there on your Prius next to your Apple sticker. It's gonna be good stuff. I'll, that'll be going on the car later today. And uh, software installer kind of gives you all of that. DaVinci Resolve is very similar to what was in the uh, Atom Mini. Free download, Fusion 9. All right, that's gonna be exciting. I can already tell. Ultimate solution for broadcast titles. Who needs a broadcast uh, graphics computer when you have Fusion 9? All right, I don't know much about that. We'll learn about that later. Let's pop it open here and see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that little extra protection there for the keys. And there she is, just like the Ada Mini. It just sits nice in there. There's no plastic or anything to um, give it any additional protection, but there it is, nice and new. The Black Magic. oh man, I can tell you right off the bat, this thing's heavy, it's got some weight to it. 
And uh, I'm, I'm feeling some, some aluminum. There's definitely some stuff going on here. So that's encouraging actually. Uh, you know, heavier sometimes doesn't always mean better, but it definitely gives you a little bit of insight on how well it's built. And hopefully the insides are going to be uh, just as well. So let's spin this around here and let's see what we got. Yeah, all metal on the, on the bottom here. It's aluminum. Oh, I, this is impressive. All right, single power supply. Uh, actually, it looks like we've got a 12 volt uh, power supply here as well on a four pin XLR. All your inputs and outputs, all that looks good. Balanced audio, which is always nice to see. That always definitely helps. And um, quarter inch input and a quarter inch uh, headphone output as well. And of course your multi-viewer more than likely is gonna be HDMI. That was pretty smart thinking, just going ahead and putting that there uh, in the HDMI format. Saves you a converter. I like it. Not bad, Black Magic. All right, let's take a look here. Everything on, I'll tell you what, let's get rid of this. And let's put this right here. All right. Yeah. You know, these buttons kind of feel what you expect. They're springy, got some weight to them. So, you know, definitely uh, don't fit. They don't feel super cheap. This actually feels better than I expected. There's actually some resistance there, kind of nice. And these buttons actually feel very good as well. I have to say, my initial uh, reaction is that I'm quite impressed. This is uh, um, this is looking good from a build quality standpoint, and um, all of this up here, this got a trackball. That's going to be kind of interesting. We'll we'll kind of see how that works. Maybe like a, a mouse or something for your multi viewer. Who knows? Well, I think it's time for us to plug it up, hook up some cameras and start learning this thing. And then uh, we'll catch you guys back on the next video where we dive into the Blackmagic Atom Television Studio Pro 4K. Be watching for that video. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have any other questions about Blackmagic or any other products, uh, uh, especially when we were talking about interfacing, again, that's gonna be the biggest thing that I would really encourage anyone that's looking at these products to do is to make sure that your products are going to be compatible. So give us a call at 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also email us at mail at take1.tv. And uh, please uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. You can also comment below. Um, I check all of the comments and we'll be happy to reply to you. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.